How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The Lakers have definitely taken their time filling out both their 15-man roster and 20-man training camp roster, but they did take a step forward in that by bringing in Cam Oliver to push their training camp roster to 18 total players. If you have not yet heard, they signed Cam Oliver to an Exhibit 10 contract, which basically means that he was signed for training camp, although he will have a fair shot at making their actual team if he does perform well during training camp. And I really mean that too, with them currently having a need for more depth at both small and power forward, Oliver could have a shot at making their actual team. He is more of a power forward compared to a small forward, but his athletic ability allows him to do a little bit of everything. You might not be all that familiar with Cam Oliver, and I don't entirely blame you for that either. He is a 25 year old undrafted player from the 2017 NBA draft who had never played a game in the NBA until he played 4 games with the Rockets last year, though other than that, he has only played in the G League and over in Australia. Which is where he has played best up until this point. During his time in the NBL, he averaged over 17 points per game, 9.5 rebounds per game, a block and a half per game, while shooting 51% from the field and over 33% from the three-point line. He was even named the All-NBL second team during his first year playing there. He made his mark during his time playing in Australia and quickly became a fan favorite. And because of how well he played, it gave him another opportunity in the NBA, which came with the Rockets. In the four games that he got to play with the Rockets, he actually made a very good impression. He averaged 10.8 points per game in under 22 minutes per game to go along with 5.3 rebounds per game and one block per game as well. And while none of that may seem all that great, for a guy who had never played a single minute in the NBA before, it was actually very impressive. And going beyond the numbers, if you actually watch him play, you can tell that he is a very versatile kind of player. He has the height and length to be a power forward, but between his strong frame and athletic ability, he can play at both small forward and center too. 10 years ago, he probably would have been regarded as a tweener, but in today's NBA, not being tied to playing at only one position typically is valued very highly. Cam Oliver has the kind of build and play style to do that on both ends of the court. Offensively, he is big and athletic enough to play down low. He does fairly well banging down low, even while lacking a little bit of height, and he is a great lob threat due to his great athletic ability. But at the same time, he is quick enough and can shoot the ball well enough to play at either forward position. He is not a great 3 point shooter, but he will take and make enough of them to be regarded as a threat to shoot the ball. He also has been good at moving without the ball and does well at cutting to the rim. And then defensively, his good frame and athletic ability allow him to play both down low and on the perimeter. He is hard to move around the rim with his near 240 pound frame, but with that, he can also protect the rim with his good length and great leaping ability. And while I would not trust him to defend the best wing player on the court, he does move his feet well enough to defend the perimeter. I would say that he's probably more fit to defend bigger players, but he is versatile enough to defend positions 3 through 5 at times. And one thing that he does very well that helps him on both ends of the court is playing with a ton of effort and energy. He is always moving on the court and he makes the hustle plays that others might not, which to me is one of the most underappreciated parts of his game. If you take a look at the numbers that he put up while playing in Australia for 2 years, he averaged nearly 10 rebounds per game and a block and a half per game. It's rare for a forward like Oliver to be able to put up those kind of numbers and they don't come by standing around. His great athletic ability definitely contributes heavily to that, but the effort that he plays with helps him even more. He is the type of player that tends to be able to stand out during a training camp setting, and I do think he will catch the eye of the Lakers. Whether or not he will actually make the team is another question entirely, but I do think he will leave a good impression. Frank Vogel in particular loves players like Cam Oliver who play with a lot of effort and energy, and if they can defend at a high level, that usually makes them a favorite of his. And I could see that potentially happening with Cam Oliver. He would definitely need to have an impressive training camp for it to happen, but I don't believe it's out of the realm of possibility, because he will get plenty of opportunities to do it. Outside of Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, and DeAndre Jordan, the Lakers do not have very many bigger, physical players on their team, and even if you throw LeBron into that conversation, I don't believe he nor Anthony Davis will be playing very physical during training camp. 
which will leave a guy like Cam Oliver a lot of time to match up with Dwight Howard and DeAndre Jordan during training camp. He will likely get a lot of run while playing a power forward during training camp as well, which will match him up with guys like Trevor Ariza and Carmelo Anthony too. And overall, I think he was a great player to invite to their training camp. He not only fits their need for more bigger bodies to throw at Dwight Howard and DeAndre Jordan, but he could actually make an argument to make their team if he performs well during training camp. He would fill a current position of need that they have and offers a play style that they are currently looking for. He could help fill the void of a small ball power forward and center that Markeith Morris left them with. Oliver has the type of build and skills required to do it. While he may not be as good of a 3 point shooter as Markeith, he is without a doubt a better defender. He is quicker laterally and is the superior post defender. And when it comes to effort and energy on the court, he definitely has not beat in that department too. He is a bit of a raw talent yet, but he clearly does belong in the NBA, and I think the Lakers may have realized that when he dropped 17 on them towards the end of the regular season. They probably had no idea who he was before that game, but after it, they seem to have taken notice. During that game, he surprised them by being able to shoot from the 3 point line. They left him completely wide open on a number of shots, and he made them pay for it, and he even had an impressive highlight dunk to go along with all of it. And it kind of makes me wonder if they remembered him from that game and tells you about how one game can really make a good impression because that game might have seemed meaningless to the Rockets but it helped a guy like Cam Oliver to eventually get another NBA opportunity. In conclusion though, I really like Cam Oliver's game. It's hard to find players of his size with his blend of unique talent and athletic ability. If you would ever be able to put all of it together, he would make for a legitimate NBA role player. And while it will be difficult for him to make their actual 15 man roster, it's not entirely out of the question. If he makes a very good impression on the coaching staff during training camp, he could very well make their team. And even if he does not, he could stick around on their G League team and could maybe even get a call up with a 10 day contract during the middle of the year. It's unlikely that they complete their 15 man roster until after the trade deadline, so he could possibly fill in for any injured players until then. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on Cam Oliver. And what do you guys think? Do you think that Cam Oliver has a shot at making their 15 man roster? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. And if you want to stay up to date on all my immediate thoughts moves around the NBA, be sure to follow me on Twitter too. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.